Hello everyone. Welcome to another iTop installation video. Today I'll be showing you how to install iTop on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. This is going to be a quick and easy installation for you. Hopefully we can complete the setup within 10 minutes. I have written a detailed step-by-step -step guide on my blog so that you can follow and complete the installation without any error. And today I'll be following this guide also to properly do the installation. So without further ado, let's get started. For today's demonstration, I'll be using a Walter VPS. So we have to create a new VPS now. Click deploy server. We can use cloud compute shared CPU. Data center may be Chicago. And the operating system must be 22.04. We can choose AMD or Intel. Let's choose Intel. And for this demonstration, two vCPU with two GB RAM will be fine. We don't need the auto backup feature. This is not a production server. And also IPv6 is not necessary. Let's provide a server host name. Now click deploy. It will take some time to fully populate the server. Okay, so the server status is running now. We can see the details. So it says that your server may still be finishing installing. So by this time, we can configure our IP. Copy the IP. Let's go to the DNS server. I'm using the Cloudflare DNS. We need to create a, a record. Let's put the IP. We don't need to use the proxy right now. Click save. And now let's check that our server can be found from the internet. Let's go to DNS lookup. Click DNS lookup. Okay, so it shows our IP. So our server can be found from the internet. We are good to go. Now let's log into the console. I'm using the mobile extern software for the terminal access. Now let's create a session, SSH session. Provide the server host name. user root let's change the terminal setting increase the font size a little bit and change the color of the font okay so it is asking for the password now let's take the password from here click copy and paste okay so we are logged in First of all, let's check the operating system version. It is indeed 22.04. Check the host name and the FQDN. Now let's check the IP. Okay, everything is okay. Now let's back to our blog. We will follow from there. So first of all, it describes what is ITOP and its features. We can start from the update and upgrade. Let's copy the code. If any command takes longer time to finish, then I will pause the video and I will come back after the software finished installation. Okay, so the upgrade and upgrade is done. On step two, we need to install the Apache and PHP modules. Let's proceed step by step. The Apache installation is done. Now 
let's install the PHP modules it could take some time PHP modules installation also done now we need to configure the itops default root directory as it says we will run itop from the default apache root directory we do not want to access itop by mentioning the domain slash itop on the url so we have to configure the default site configuration and we need to paste these directory options now save now let's remove the default index.html we don't need that because we will extract the itop package on the same directory now restart apache okay now for the performance we need to install the php fpm and this is recommended let's copy the code now let's check the service status and the socket must be created okay now we need to disable the apache php and npm prefork module because by default apache will use this module for processing the php files we don't need these modules we will process the php files with the php fpm okay now let's enable the fast cgi now let's restart the apache and php fpm also now we need to instruct the apache to use the php fpm for the php file processing we need to copy this file match directive and we need to go to the default site configuration we can paste here now we can restart apache again to reload the configuration now for the file upload on itop we need to change several php parameters so these are the php variables and these are the default values among these parameters, we have the file upload, the max file upload and upload temp DIR. These variable values are okay here. We don't need to change these values. We will change only these values. And during the change, we need to follow this rule and this is recommended. I have provided some example values here. So you can add up depending on your preference. Manually changing these values will take some time. So you can execute this code before that we can check the current values you can see these are the default values now we can change by executing this code this is a set command it will just search and replace now if we grab again you can see the values already changed now let's restart the php fpm again so step 3 is finished now let's move to the step 4 install and configure the apcu apcu significantly enhances the performance of the itop server so it speed up the php application by caching opcode and internal structure in shared memory so it is recommended for the performance let's install and we need to provide some values here the shared memory size and the TTL
Now restart the PHP FPM. One note here that check the APCU version. There is a warning on the official page. You can visit the official page about the APCU version 5.1.12. So we have the 5.1.2.1, uh, which is okay. Here you can see the 5.1.12 is a buggy version, it says. So if you have a PHP info page, from there you can check the version. Now we need to install a database. So we are installing here the MariaDB. Let's install MariaDB. Okay. Let's check the MariaDB version. It should be 10.6. The distribution is 10.6 okay so this version is fully compatible before starting the installation you should check the compatibility issues now we need to log into the mariadb server with the mysql command then we will execute these sql statements to create the itop database so we will create a database named itop with the user itop and we are providing full privilege to this user We can copy and we can execute at once. I have provided a sample password here, so you should definitely change your own. Now we need to provide some performance setting on the MariaDB configuration. Let's open the MySQL configuration file. We need to provide this value under the MySQL D. We can paste here. Okay, so now restart the MariaDB server. Great. Now let's move to step six, download and set up the ITOP directories. Let's copy. We're installing the ITOP 3.1. Okay, download is finished. It's about 32 MB. now unzip in the apache's document root directory so we are unzipping the web folder only copy the code and execute okay it's done now apply the scl on the data and log directory before that let's check for www.html yeah let's apply now create the directories for the installation okay we applied the permission now run the installation wizard Let's go to another tab. Okay, so this is the welcome to ITOP version. So if we see the prerequisites, it says the prerequisite validation okay. So everything is success and green. So you can follow the step by step images here. I have given a short explanation of each of the steps. Now let's do the steps here. Click continue. So we are installing a new instance of the ITOP. Click next. We have to agree with the license agreement. Now the server name should be localhost. This is the database credentials. Let's take the database credential from the SQL statement 
login as itop this is the password okay the database server connection is okay now we are not creating a new database we already created the database named itop click next and this is the admin login provide a password here click next so this is our application url so it says that change the value above if the end users will be accessing the application by another path due to a specific configuration of the web server we don't need we want to access our itop with the domain name or the fqtn so our url is fine so for the sample data if you click the i'm installing a demo or test instance in that case you will get some demo data here let's select the second one i'm installing a production instance click next so here the configuration management options the options below allow you to configure the different type of elements that are to be managed inside the itop so let's select everything and here we have two options service management for enterprise and service management for service providers so we will use itop internally within our organization so we will use the service management for enterprise click next and the ticket management should be the simple ticket management with the custom portal that is okay we are not selecting any change management here so no change management and these are optional additional itl tickets pick from the list below the additional itl process that are to be implemented in itop so if you want to implement these things also you can select those so here you can see the full details of your selections everything will be shown here now click install we have to wait a little bit so it's creating the configuration files and everything so our installation is done so it says manual operation required there are some manual instructions for ticket management you can check the link and here it provides some links to check for the extensions and the documentations click enter right up so we are logged in successfully so this is the welcome screen we don't need to display this screen so this is our dashboard from here you can access everything our installation is successful so this is it for today i'm not deep diving right now for the further configurations so if you want to learn more about the itop you can check this playlist i have provided some detailed step-by-step -step configuration how you can configure the itop for your organization okay so this is it for today thank you for being with me i'll see you on the next video bye